It's your new home. <gasps> Muffin was surrendered to a pound. Over 20 volunteers and shifts drove Muffin from Texas up to Washington, D.C. Muffin was a little shy, but she came right up to me and had personality plus. Bless her little heart. We met at a McDonald's parking lot in Mobile, Alabama. She's a sweetheart. She really just wanted love. I was the last leg of the transport, met in a diner parking lot. It had been a long ride. Muffin slept for the whole car ride. I handed Muffin off to her new foster mom, Heather. She did really good on the car ride back here, so I could tell that she was used to being in a car at this point. For the past year, we've been talking about what our second dog is going to be like. This is our first little doggy, Ginsburg. He wanted a sister. Are you excited to meet your sister, Muffin? Will you share your draggy with her? We should probably get her her own draggy. Ginsburg, you ready to go meet Muffin? You know where we're going? We're going to pick up your sister. We're almost there. You checking out Muffin's bed? Pulling up to meet Muffin for the first time. We're feeling nervous. All right. Hi, Muffin. Hi. Hi, little girl. Oh. <laughs> it's Ginsburg. She's a little bit shy, but she's definitely a big cuddler. She is so little. I love her. Similar to Sniff. It's not so bad. You can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> you want to go on a walk so you can meet your brother? She's a little nervous, but I understand. It's new people. She's been moving around a lot. Oh, it's okay. We've been through a lot. I'm, I'll be, I'm happy that she's going to somebody who's really good, but don't give me those sad eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be sad to see her go. Bye, Watch her. They chose a good family to adopt Muffin. Eventually, she just fell asleep, zonked out for the rest of the ride, and then when she woke up, she kind of looked around, and she's like, where's my new digs? We're home. <laughs> oh, <gasps> this is your new home. Biggest thing was we just hoped that she really liked it here and uh, would be comfortable oh. and happy. Go explore. But you know, when we opened the door, she bolted in. She seemed to make herself comfortable really quickly, so I think she's gonna love it here. We were really nervous about Ginsburg being protective of his toys and his bed and his home, and Muffin has come in and made herself right at home in Ginsburg's bed with Ginsburg's <laughs> toys, and he's been really good about it. That definitely surprised me. Uh, so she might be the one to take charge. Come on, come on. Walking around the streets of Baltimore, she's just really curious. You're gonna be a city dog now. And the pet store, she hopped up on Lindsay like, Mom, can I get these snacks? And that's <laughs> when you knew that she wants to be here. It was a big change from who we had seen earlier that morning. So that made me feel like she was gonna be happy here. They're gonna sleep well tonight. Muffin! Do you love Baltimore Muffin? Oh, no, you love squirrels. It's been a little over five months since we officially adopted Muffin and brought her home. She is currently the head of household here. <laughs> she commands everybody in the house. She's our little princess. Muffin's best friend would be Ginsburg. She's definitely the leader of the pack. <laughs> Did you steal it from Ginsburg? She can get up onto our bed, which is a little raised up, 
which Ginsburg can't do as well, so he gets jealous sometimes. It was just really a work of a lot of people. And we are really grateful to everybody who participated in finding the Muffin River Forever home. I definitely think if people have the opportunity to rescue, they definitely should. And whatever dog they rescue is going to be absolutely thrilled.